Okay, so now I'm going to talk about Social Security and the Social Security number. Uh, first of all, what is a Social Security number? And Social Security, your Social Security number is uh, your magic nine-digit number um, that basically identifies you for tax purposes. And it's really, really important you have this because your paychecks uh, from your employment uh, withdraws automatically takes out taxes and that's a law unfortunately there's no way around that um, that the government's gonna take your money but you'll get it back later uh, but if at first they're gonna take money out of your paycheck and to do that you need a social security number and that's why it's so important to get a social security number you it's a little bit different depending on visa status we'll talk about F1's first um, again F2's are not allowed to work and since F2's cannot work they are ineligible for a social security number so keep that in mind F1's uh, if, if you want a social security number you first need a job offer so for those of you that are doctorate students if you have been given a GA or RA then you're eligible for a social security number uh, and if you are a student that hasn't been offered that but you search for work uh, on campus and they offer you employment uh, then you're eligible for a social security number if you are um, new and you get a job on campus what you do is you actually come to the ISS office and we kinda give you a stamp <laughs> um, on your offer letter and we sign it and we endorse saying that you have been offered employment on campus and then you go to the Social Security office and then you apply for a Social Security number. Uh, what you need to take with you is your offer letter that we stamped and signed, uh, as well as all of your immigration documents, and then you will apply for the number. And once you have applied, then you're able to work. So they are not going to give you your Social Security card right away, but once you, um, once you apply, for a number, then you're eligible to work, and then you take your app showing your application receipt to your employer, and then you can start working. The nice thing about a J1 uh, and a J2 is that even if you don't have a job, you can still apply for a Social Security number. But if you don't have employment, um, there's nothing we directly do at ISS. You can just take all your immigration documents with you uh, to the Social Security office and um, you can apply for a number there. One more thing I'd like to suggest is Social Security office is really, really slow. So uh, spend, you have to make an appointment online and I would block your time out either for a full afternoon or a full morning because um, you're going to have to wait a long time. One thing we do at ISS um, in the beginning of the semester, so look out for it, is uh, we also do Social Security Days where the Social Security office comes on campus to visit us and students can get their um, they can apply for their letters uh, on campus rather than driving out all the way to the so so Social Security office because it's a little bit far if you don't have a car from where we are. So look out for that um, um, and you'll hear about that when you come and check in. Um, but that's generally how you would apply for a Social Security number.